Joining me right now is Allison Samuel, senior writer with Newsweek, Newsweek had become the confidant of Whitney Houston's. Allison, thank you for being with us. At this hour, what are you being told, Allison? You literally became a part of the, the death story. What happened? Um, well, at this hour, I mean, Dionne Warwick did accompany the body to um, Newark. Um, that, that is one thing I do know. Um, and at this hour, you know, they're just trying to get it together. They really had sort of gone back and forth on whether or not to have a private um, funeral or a public funeral, but they decided, you know, on the private funeral but because the family is grieving so intensely. Um, Sissy Houston in particular is just taking this incredibly hard, and so is Bobby Christina. So they really just sort of needed this time. And for me to be a part of it in the sense of being there when she actually passed away um, is still something I'm really trying to sort of come to grips with, come to terms with. Allison Samuel, senior writer, Newsweek, uh, a confidant of Whitney Houston's. I am learning now that her bodyguard disallowed baths. And I'm wondering, when did that rule go by the wayside? What happened and why was she disallowed baths? And when she did take a shower, Allison, she was checked on. Right. Um, they basically instilled that rule over the course of the years of sort of realizing some of the issues that she had. It wasn't just the security, it was everybody in place on this. It's the stylist, her makeup artist, everybody understood that she didn't need to take baths. They were concerned about her falling asleep in the tub. They also decided she needed to take showers and that when she took showers, they would check on her periodically to make sense and to make, you know, to make sure that she was okay. When um, Whitney changed some of the people around her, those rules sort of fell by the wayside. And so many people, the stylist and the makeup artist and the security guard are extremely upset because they feel like, you know, just going in there 10 minutes um, after she had gone in and knocking on the door would have saved her life. Why they would let her stay in there an hour, knowing some of the issues she'd had over the years, it's just, you know, amazing to them that they would allow that to happen, um, knowing what the risks were. Allison Samuels, it's reported that with Whitney Houston's dead, wet body out of the bathtub laying upstairs on the floor, the party raged on a couple of floors below her. Why? Um, a couple of different reasons. I think the main reason is that police wanted to make sure that they didn't have another Michael Jackson incident. They really, really wanted to make sure they got every bit of evidence, that they investigated the scene very thoroughly and had no interruptions and had no, um, you know, sort of people coming in and out. That was incredibly important to the police. Also, they had to sort of find a way to get Whitney out without sort of taking her through the hotel and through, and through everything that was going on downstairs. Allison, were you at the party? No, I actually um, spent a great deal of that time after learning of her death, you know, just trying to sort of report, talk to people on the outside, talk to people in security. I actually saw people going in, saw Diddy, see all, saw those people going in, but I didn't attend the party, no. I want to go we back are taking to your calls, Allison but I Samuels want to go back to us, Allison writer Samuel Newsweek. joining us, senior writer Newsweek. It seems as if Newsweek. everyone around her it seems was, as very everyone familiar around her problems, was very familiar and, and with Whitney's problems. And what I'm trying to problems, and, and what I'm trying with to her. determine who how was many with her? bottles of benzodiazepine did she have? Of and how many did she doctors have? And were how many giving doctors her the pills? Or was it giving just one doctor? The pills? Or was what it if just anything, one doctor? Do we know, what Allison? What if anything, do we know, Allison? Well, she had a, a variety of people around well, her. Well, she had her, a, um, a variety you know, of people around her. Her sister-in-law, Donna, she was here. Her sister-in-law, Donna, she was here. She had makeup artist, she had a lot of people with her here. She had a lot of people with her here. And obviously her daughter was with her. As far as the prescriptions, they were very clear. The prescriptions, they were they're many. pretty clear, but the you have to keep in mind there were someone many. like Whitney. But you, you have to keep in mind she had someone like Whitney. She didn't have to take much. She only took one or two pills. 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 She only took